So, new week, completely different topic. Now we have looked at elliptic curves and public key things, public key crypto, asymmetric cryptography, if you will. Now we're going to start looking into symmetric primitives and we're going to start with hash functions. So, for that, I want to first tell you what a hash function actually is. And a hash function? Well, to hash, you can also translate with to chop something or to make a mess out of something. And that's what hash functions do. Hash functions take arbitrary input and scramble it around real good, if you will. So, if you use a hash function, for example in Python, you can import the hash lib from the standard library and call, for example, SHA-1, which is a cryptographic hash function, and input some sort of byte string, here, hello world, and then the output is actually a very weird mixture of randomly looking bytes. So that's what the hash, hash function does. Just takes an input and outputs something completely different. And now you can also use the hash function in Python, which is built in, which returns a number. So hash functions are used in a lot of places, but we're only interested in cryptographic hash functions. Now this built-in hash function in Python is not a cryptographic hash, it's used for something completely else. So we only care about cryptographic hash functions and cryptographic hash functions take an arbitrarily long string and map it onto a fixed output length string with some security properties that we'll look into now. 